So with the trailer clean, I just feel much better about getting up and starting the day. I try and clean it before we go to bed at night. But of course, Stayman is usually up really early and has clothes thrown everywhere. And like I said, the pillows and stuff. But yeah, I just cleaned up. I put the dishes away that we used last night, which wasn't too many. And today, because it is going to rain all day, I turned on all of the lights because it is quite dark in here. Actually, I don't even think the camera does it justice on how dark it is. It's one of the things that I don't like about this trailer is how dark it is in here at all times, even if it is sunny. I do have a little tip and trick for you if you do any RV camping with the electrical sites. Instead of running your furnace with propane, get one of these little stand heaters and run it off electric. It is free to use the electric because you paid for it, whereas using propane, you're using up fuel that you paid separately for. So that's what we do. We run this little stand heater, and then if it's not enough, we have this set to about 68 degrees. If for whatever reason this can't keep up, then we have the furnace set to 65 or 66 in case it drops down too low. So it's not bad sleeping in a little bit cooler, but we are in fall now pretty much. So we are gonna get those cooler nights. So today is supposed to rain all day. We kind of have an idea in mind of what we could do. I have to look into it a little bit, but if not, then it'll pretty much be like a movie day. I have yesterday's video I can edit, so I might get that done today. I want to have them ready to be uploaded when we leave here, so that when we get home they can go up right away for you guys. And yeah, so we'll see what we get up to today and hope that it doesn't rain all day. So how much money do you have? $14.50. Yep. What are you gonna buy? A stuffy and something else. I don't know. I think you have enough money for a stuffy and something else. Or even just a stuffy. I mean, not the big ones. No, I'm talking about the little small ones were $13.50. Plus tax. Yeah, I get that. So you better have to buy a big one for $16. For 16 I don't have 16 I don't have 16 mm -hmm. Well. Hello. Everything is Show them my pocket. soaking wet Show them. out today. Hi. Show them. My money's in my pocket. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go look at her. So, so where are we going? To the store. To the store? Yeah. Yeah. Sure? Yeah. And then you keep walking straight. Yeah. And it'll take you out and then you turn and keep walking. Okay. Lead the way. Oh, it's closed. Go home. So this is the park store here that we checked into yesterday. Yeah. We parked Look. the trailer there. You see the red open. Open. Closed. <laughs> Water so, this is part of the reason why we wanted to bring baby girls here. And these, the beach wheelchairs. Hang on, dude. Looks like all the wolves are trying to hunt the moose down. Yep. Trying to, yep. That's food. Mm -hmm. That's part of their life. It's cool. Honey, I found them right here. The moose. Mm. Ow. I don't know if they have enough money though. Jack out. This is cool. Oh, oh that's a How much money is it though? See. Beaver? The beaver. How much? It's $13.95. How much do you have? Mm, $14.50. Yeah, there's might be tax on it though. Mm, there will be tax on it. I didn't bring my wallet with me. We have might money. have to come back. I didn't bring my change purse with me. Oh, really? Oh, 
Those are cool. I like this guy. Okay, well, how about you keep looking a little bit? Well, I'll show you what they are. Right, they're little monsters. Mm. See, they're like little monster dudes. It's called a spider ball. Yeah. What did you get? Uh, my Bieber friend. I want to see him. Okay, give me a second. Bieber. And what was his name? Chop. Chip. 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 I want to name him my... And how much did you pay for him? Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars and seventy-five cents. For Chomp the Beaver. Are you gonna name him Chomp? No. Can you just chomp on things? No. Can't keep them. And it's raining. Oh boy. And now you have no more money, so. All done. Okay, so I've been editing for a bit now. Damien laid down a little bit, Kyle laid down a little bit. Neither of them slept, though just kind of laid down, but then Damien wanted to watch a movie, and for some reason our DVD player, it's also like a radio combination and everything, will play off memory card and any type of like hookup, but I'm assuming it's original to the trailer and it wouldn't turn on. It runs off of DC power, the TV runs off of AC power, but it still showed power to the unit and there was nothing wrong with the fuse there was nothing wrong with the breaker so not exactly sure what was up so I tried everything I could tried resetting everything checked both AC and DC power to see if that had anything to do with it and couldn't figure it out so finally decided to pull manuals and I was able to find a reset button because um, I looked for one on the unit and couldn't find it Anyways, the function button, if you hold it for 10 seconds, it'll reset, and it worked, so that's awesome. Damien's currently watching Dr. Seuss. Anyways. I want mac and cheese. You want mac and cheese? Okay, I'll make you some. Ketchup. Okay. So, anyways, Kyle just took Diesel for a W-A-L-K. Don't want to say it too loud, because R-A-M is still here. Um, and he just calmed down. So I guess he wants some mac and cheese. I'll make him that and take a break from One day editing. There a machine. Did you end up actually sleeping today? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. I had to do the barks when I wake up. Tired. Did you sleep today? No. Mommy did. Not yeah, we know. I had a nap and I woke up. I saw a sign on the way in that, well actually I'll wait to tell you, but anyways we're going to head out for about a 20 minute drive. 20 minute drive? We haven't done much today, the boys did go on a walk while no. I slept. A hiking. Okay, a hiking trail, whatever, and I, yeah, so I slept and we're gonna head out and do something today because the one thing that we thought we were gonna do Where is it? Is closed for the season unless you do like personal appointments. So anyways, we are going to head out and we'll probably see you when we get there. Where's that covered bridge going to? Pardon? Where's that covered bridge? Yeah. 
Let me start eating the liquor. Oh, I see red chairs. That's probably in there. Take the second oh, right, oh, then you'll oh, arrive at your oh, destination. Toast. stopped at the liquor store since the beaver tail place is not open so that's where we were gonna go we were gonna this is the birthplace of beaver tails and we've actually never had one being canadian never. ever and i know i feel like they're bigger if you're from the states and you come to canada and they're like an attraction type thing but we've never actually had one we've seen like the chip trucks and stuff everywhere but yeah Anyways, so we stopped at the liquor store, grabbed Smir Smirnoff Ice Citrus, um, wanted this at home. They only had a 12 can at home, but they had a small bottle here, so I just grabbed that. Thanks. Matthew actually tried this uh, one time, and I pretty much drank like half the bottle on him. So anyways, it's uh, maple cream, maple mm -hmm. syrup, and then Kyle likes these. Mommy. He likes these gin smash. So we're things. trying it to see if I like it. So he's trying that one, and then jaw drop, uh, sucking Hi. lemon. Yeah, that's good. Which, mm. Rogan made the key. He made it for me. Okay, can you sit down? You want to get going? So that is our, I guess, little adventure today. We uh, didn't get. So there, the Beaver Tales is open at 11 on Thursday, and we leave Thursday, so we will uh, make a pit stop. Come back. I'm not gonna like them. You never know when you might. We'll come back and can you try, try a them. little bite. Yeah, we can get two different ones and split them, because there's one I think that you're gonna really like. Oh, well, you're not gonna like the one I want. Different, but I'll get this plain one, I guess. I just thought we could get two. Like, that's quite a bit for our first. Don't you think? And it's quite a bit to eat, too. Anyway, so head back that to the campsite. That would be for the day. That sweet for you. Instead of having sweet, sweet beaver tails, we'll have some sweet cream shots. <laughs> well, you will. Hmm. There's no weed involved. Won't go anywhere else tonight. Alright, we're back. A little bit of a drive. I set the truck a little bit like straight on to the fire tonight because it was perfect having the tailgate as a little uh, table. Oh, puppies. Okay, so now that we're back and settled, I'm gonna start getting dinner ready and I prepped for like stuffed pepper soup for like a rainy day. However, Kyle and I actually don't feel like soup tonight. So I'm going to make my Spanish stuffed peppers, which I actually have a video on years ago in the old house. Um, so I'll link that down below. But I have some veggies to chop and prepping to do for that. We use these tomatoes, just like garlic. Just like garlic and olive oil tomatoes. I reduce that down with onion, garlic, um, olive oil, and the main ingredient to make it Spanish stuffed peppers is cayenne pepper. And then of course some rice and I'll be using one green pepper to fill and then I'll probably do one of these and then the other two we'll use for our fajitas. And then, I don't even know why I have that there. Anyways, I have a young in, young in? an onion and garlic. Oh, and the ground beef. You can do bacon in it. We have some bacon, but we're gonna save it for like a breakfast. So that's what I'm doing. So I think I'm actually gonna use a pot to cook this in just cause it seems a little less messy in the trailer. Of course, garlic, salt, and pepper. And we need basil, oregano, and our cayenne pepper. So first things first is 
I have to cut up some onion and garlic. And I don't think I brought my handheld grater. Oh, I do have mine. This is what I use for the garlic and it pretty much creates a paste. So I need that. And then I'm going to use a sharp knife tonight. Oh, and, and Kyle poured me some of that Cabot Trail stuff, so. It's on the rocks, so it's a little much. <laughs> going to put a little bit of olive oil and get the garlic and onion. Oh no, this tripod for some reason does not like to stay up anymore. It's one of those gorilla pods and hopefully that'll stay. ways just I want to say it makes it easier but I really don't think it does this is a fairly big onion so I'm only gonna do half cook the onion garlic and tomatoes all in one pot and then cook the ground beef in another pot but because I'm doing this as a one pot dish I'm actually going to cook the ground beef in with the onion and garlic remove it from the stove and then reduce down the tomatoes and add my seasonings and then add the onions and garlic and everything back in Okay, now that that's cooked, I'm gonna add this. I'm actually not gonna take out the ground beef. I'm gonna try and add this. I have my peppers prepped, and I added the tomato and all of my seasonings, so basil, uh, oregano, and cayenne pepper. And I'm gonna add probably a little bit of garlic salt, more. And I'm going to add the rice right into this because there's enough liquid that it will soak up. So this is about a cup of rice. And a little bit of garlic salt. And what I'm gonna do is just cover this and let that Quite a bit of water in that so I'm gonna remove the lid. I added a little bit of water to the bottom of the pan. I think I'm gonna leave a little extra water in this because I am gonna put it on the fire. So how are we gonna do this? Actually I think I have a lid. So this is more sloppy than what it normally would be. I must wait made way more than what I normally make. I think because I had enough ground beef probably for four people. just add the extra around my edges. 
And now I don't have foil, which sucks. But. Okay, let's take this out to the fire. Okay, dude, you're gonna have to move some pine cones. Okay, I'm trying to get them off right now. Oh, man! It's the smoke. I wish it was crispy. I didn't need two peppers. One would have been enough for us. I don't need to be split in half. Cause... It's because there was too much ground beef. And then I did a cup of rice to make the ratio. Which know. that would have fed four people versus. Dinner was delicious. Ate way too much. But switching over from the Cabot Trail uh, drink. was the best brand deal I ever got. And I'm not saying that just because, like I'm not paid to say that, but like having an ice maker is like a game changer. So, lots of ice and I'm switching over. I need something a little bit lighter after dinner that I can sip on. So I sent this to Matthew, <laughs> and this is what he said. It doesn't want to cook for me. It's cooking. Turn it. Good job. Oh, you turned just in time. Okay, bedtime. Are you putting your sleeper on? Yes. It's up here. My kids. Okay. I thought it was down here. Hello, we need it in the vlog here. And we'll see you in the morning. We might go for some trails today. Tomorrow. I mean. And go swimming, maybe. <laughs> All right, we're gonna end this vlog here, like he said, and we might go swimming and do some trails tomorrow. It's supposed to be a nicer day, so we will see you tomorrow. Yay. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Wait, I'm gonna show you my cool trick. Good night.